Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Here I have a great article for you guys from the Cord Cutter News. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. Verizon improved and expanded the 5G and 5G Ultra Wideband in over 70 cities this year is on the list. So there's a bunch of cities and states on this list. Make sure you guys check them out. So Verizon is being very, very aggressive now, even more aggressive than before because they see growth in a certain product. And that growth is coming from fixed wireless access. So the more C-band that they add on sites, the more bandwidth that they open up, the more traffic they can move across the network. And that in return allows them to grow the fixed wireless access product as, as much as they are. So you're gonna start seeing sites that are doing 180 megahertz 140 megahertz you're going to start seeing that in ericsson markets as i explained in the previous video samsung is not yet there but they're not too far behind but there's still no date or time frame as to when they will have it but ericsson will be first so that is going to be massive just based on the fact that verizon has 60 almost 60 percent of their tower footprint on its own fiber. Now, I am told there are still some sites that are being provisioned that are that are needing some upgrades on the back end to get to the 10 gigs, but 60% of, of Verizon's tower grid will be on 10 gig backhaul. That's pretty massive. So once you get to that 180 megahertz, 140, plus the CBRS, you're going to see some ridiculous speeds on Verizon and it should be consistent. It shouldn't just be, you know, 20% of sites in a given area or 50%. No, 100% of sites in these markets that are on Verizon fiber, they should be on 10 gig backhaul. That allows them to really go after fixed wireless access or home broadband customers, I should say. It allows them that flexibility to offer it to, you know, a good amount of households and then there's still going to be areas where they literally have millimeter wave small cell nodes inside of these neighborhoods where the macro is facing you know from the outside in fairly close with c-band on it 140 megahertz they still can offload you onto that millimeter wave that's in the neighborhood so that's very impressive in my opinion i think it's the way that they sketch this and strategize this i think the engineers did a great job verizon that entire team they got together they said we're going to stick with this millimeter wave we can offload a certain amount of customers on fixed wireless access on that then we can still sell some households on the macro that's on the outside in some cases there's a macro within the neighborhoods just just depends how the uh neighborhood is constructed so it's very impressive so like I said, the, all this, the cities and states are listed in this article. Make sure you guys check them out. They're going rural. They're going suburban. Now, the floodgates are open. They hit the 200 million. I still predict they get to 250 by the end of this year. They're going very aggressive. The money is there. They're green lit to spend it. As long as they get permit approvals, they upgrade sites, they build new sites. I still think they can get to between 230 and 250 million pops covered with C-band by the end of this year. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.